Maybe this is going to be the latest talk in the LGM because I'm not a programmer, so just enjoy the presentation and relax. Um, I'm going to talk about digital painting with open source. There are a lot of people that don't know that there are open source tools that are very useful to paint. So let's go to see what we have available. Digital, digital painting with open source tools. Well, my name is Ramon Miranda. I came from Spain, and maybe you know me by my nick, the Sog, or my nick on ISC channels, Ramon M. Uh, this is my website, and nice to meet you. So, what, what else do I do with, with software, with open software? Um, basically, my, my main field is to create brushes, and uh, to create presets and resources for the open source applications. And then I try to help people doing some of the tutorials or tutorials in PDF or on my website. Because uh, there are some things that it's, it's hard to understand due to the, the lack of documentation in some fields of, of development. So I try to, to do my best and explain the, the hard things or not so known things. This is where I came from because I came from the fine arts. I spent um, eight years uh, learning all all the techniques in, in fine arts, like oil painting, watercolors, pastel. So I try to em emulate these this mediums in the digital digital painting in the same way, but make profit of the digital advantages. This is what I do in in digital. This is. These are done in, in BIM, uh, with the BIM in the studio, which we are going to talk about it uh, later. And this is done in, in Krita, another, another program, as you will know. Um, my Linux life is, is really short. Uh, I'm not very, very familiar with, with all the terminal things, so it's very hard sometimes to to me, understand some things, but the community helped, helped me a lot. So this is my way. I am using free applications since 2007, and I discovered Ubuntu, and then changed to Mint because it was, uh, I think, in my honest opinion, better prepared for for digital applications, or at least it was uh, easier for me. And in the future, I don't know because I look for the, the easy way to, to get the, the distro that helped me uh, in digital painting. So the beginnings of the digital painting, you know, the, the loose paint, the, the, the Amiga Times. Uh, we work with pixels, so we don't have all, all the, the things that we have in real life. So we work with square pixels, but digital painting has changed a lot. In, a, in a recent years, in all fields, but especially in open source field. I usually work with a lot of materials, a lot of, of different brushes and, and noises, and in digital media, we need also tools. But what tools do we need? We need the tools that we do the job in the best way, not, not the best brand or, or whatever. So we need the tools that fits our needs. So, look for features, not for beautiful paintings, because if, if you sort the web, if you go to the Vian Art, for example, you can see a lot of paintings of different different quality, and they are made with different software, but it doesn't show the, 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 the reality, because uh, don't show the features, they show the talent of the, of the artist. The things related with composition, perspective, human anatomy, and this is not related with the with the tools or open source tools or, or whatever. Are we in the in the fashion world? Yeah, because there are a lot of people that only uses the the program that people uses. So, do we know already what we have? Do we know already all applications? Are we fashionists? This is standard because the ignorance produces, we use the, the most used 
not the, not the best for us. And this, the most used, produce dependence. We, we depend from, from the program. And the dependence is equal to no control. We can control the, how the program evolutions. And if we don't control, we are slaves. So, what do we have available? We have these three things. These are painting apps. I'm, I'm not crazy. And I'm going to, to explain right now. We have my paint, GIMP, and Twitter, which is all already very known applications. And first of all, we have GIMP, which was my, my first step in open source tools application. And this is uh, what I what I do in, in GIMP. I try to accommodate to make a better space for digital painting because it has uh, good features like the color wheel, which is not really available in, in other programs by default, and this is very important. And we have uh, enough parameters to control with the dynamics and, and the brushes and we have layers and blending modes so it's really cool to, to make digital painting. These are different areas, this is the workspace. The most workspace you have, the better you paint. This is the color wheel and this is the options parameters, two options and the layer style. So in game we have a lot of advantage and some of them are stability. I am very happy with the, the node development release, but the stable release is, is stable for me. It's multi-document and I work with a lot of documents at the same time, so it's very important. And we have also a lot of features and plugins so we can improve the, the program if, if we want, at the level we want. And to be improved, there is no perfect software. So the uh, team is working on the, on the new dynamics. Um, I, I, will, I will explain later. And the depth in, in terms of, of bid, which is still working, and the uh, layer groups with different features in, in mass that I, I know for other software. But this, these are not the most problematic things, at least for me, when you are a painting. You, you can paint with a round brass. This is only make easier your work. And again, it's very important to have uh, your preference well configured because there is a, a lot of difference uh, workspaces that we can have, like this for example, this is uh, ready for photography, photo retouch, if they have some time I'm going to show you some, some samples, but we can, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> we can also have uh, different workspaces and save them using the session RC file. And this is uh, really interesting. And this is my main project called Game Paint Studio. And it's a, a package that I done uh, using the features that are already available in, in Game. And then I join all together making projects using the, the brushes and gradients and patterns and create the Game Paint Studio to help other people to not have the same problems that I have when I when I start with, with game and I discovered that the brushes are not uh, very very good for, for painting. Because in, in digital painting we use uh, big big brushes and textured brushes and a lot of things. Um, we have presets and presets are useful for a lot of things and this is, uh, for example, a case where presets are used to create a fire effect using a gradient. Um, we can use also the presets to create uh, a lot of texture things and organic things like nature, grass, clouds, 
on all the natural things. And we have also used the, the presets to, to get um, just a, a look of, of a sketch uh, using uh, pencils or charcoal, <laughs> this, this type of, of technique, which produces a good, a good feeling in digital painting. Because if you use just a wrong brush for the opacity, the, the behavior and the experience is not the same. This is for, for example that when with a sketching process. And you can see, I don't know if, if it's visible in the, in the big screen, so the grain of the, of the picture. So it's not so digital. These were the presets in, in 2.6 in game. They are evolving and they are better. And this is what we already have in, in development state. Um, this is all related with the process. So there is a lot of work in the, in the change of the dynamics and the, we, we can have, we can modify the dynamics using curves, which is a, a lot of better. And if you need some, some help, as I did time, time ago, and I usually did because I don't know um, everything, I go to the game.org, game users, all the forums, so you are not alone. Let's go with my pain. <clears throat> I would like to compare my paint to a portrait grid, and why? Because a portrait grid is is sweet. Is everybody want to see what what is inside the, the portrait grid? So the experience is, is very good. And uh, my paint users uh, notice this this thing. It's a very easy program. With this is the workspace. Where you can see the similar similarities we, we can achieve with with them. We have the mainly the, the same basic things, so it's also good for, for painting, and it produces also a very organic feel and using the, the grain and a lot of good, good things in with the process. For example. I like my paint because it's a very innovative program. It's easy to to help in the project. And um, this wheel that is spraying in the in the screen, it's very powerful because you have all the color control in in just one one key. And recently, not so recently, but we have a, a scratch pad, uh, and I think this is the, the most powerful. Uh, feature that I, that I know in all the programs because you can uh, import swatches and also make a digital painting inside the scratch pad and using the, the samples that you already have in the scratch pad. So it's like, like the real world but with the digital advantages. I did uh, a tutorial because the brush engines is, is not so, so simple. If you want to go deeper, it's, uh, it's a bit complicated to understand, but once you know the basics, are very, it's very powerful. So I did this tutorial to, to help the people to get the basics, and it's called how to make your, your own brushes, and, and it shows the, the power of my paint and helps you to introduce you to the creation of your own process, which is not really needed if you don't need it, but if you want to go deeper, you can go for it. There are a lot of advantages too. It's light, and it's easy, and it supports the web paint style, which is uh, very known from the anime style. And it's innovative, as I said. And to be improved, there is no selection, there is no rules, no guides, no layer transformation in, in rotating or scaling. So this program is is not aimed to uh, only professionals, it's aimed to amateur people who only want to paint and paint just in the moment that open the program. And they are working hard, as I say, 
the, as I saw yesterday, in the blending mode. And so this is to be improved. And then we have Krita, which is the the last the latest program that I that I know. Um, and Krita is very interesting too because it's like a, a sport car because you you like the sport cars but um, the concept cars sorry uh, but no not all the people knows which uh, concept cars are in the in the market. Um, is I think it's very very unknown yet, but it's, it's growing faster. It has a very very good community and very good users who paint uh, very beautiful images using all the all the features that the program gives. Now we have again all the basic things that you that we need to paint. The advantages of Krita is the same white case support and the, with that the, the support that offered to be covered by the Caligra project and the brass and jeans idea that I think is a very good idea to make more experimental the, the project. This is, there is no only one brass and jean so you can so you can make uh, different things with different brass and jeans. To be improved is, is heavy, so it's enough, it's heavy enough. And the KDA dependency, if it depends if you are a non-user or a KDA user. Um, as I know, as I am a non-user, so for me is to be improved. But it's not multi-document, and this is one of the fields that I am more interested to, to be involved. This was created with, with Krita, and you can see how the color is not so digital. It's like the old painting, and you can uh, work with wet brushes, and this is really interesting. In a big sizes, with not really large glass and big glass and in the brush strokes. But uh, Krita often has uh, a lot of things because uh, it has uh, no, no documentation in, enough in, in writing in, in tutorials. So for example, you, it would be very good if you know where are your brushes because when you are starting to, to create presets and, and making things with, with the program, it's really good to, to know this, this path because there are only two paths. This is the user path and the system path. Um, you can create uh, a lot of things. Uh, this, this is the open raster format, which is the format that we use to, to make the, the files uh, available in the different programs. And this is uh, basical painting steps what I, what I do in a, in a typical painting, just a portrait of mixing pixel. And also we, we have the IRC, and the IRC is very important for, for the development of the application. So there are a lot of people that are asking again and again for features, but they are, they are doing nothing really in, in development. So it would be nice if, if the IRC uh, will have uh, uh, more movement, more more people. This is uh, a series of all of our bases, if I can give one uh, to the to the people. Uh, oh, sorry, for professional. <laughs> I, <laughs> professional is only a tag to sell products. So you will see a lot of times professional, professional, professional. So you don't you don't have to be very worried about what is professional or not in software. The professional is, is the guy or, or the girl who uses the, the software. Break the rules. It doesn't matter if you break <coughs> a brush or you break a preset. I I would like people experiment and send more presets, more brushes to, to the projects, 
because this is the, the main idea of the, <clears throat> for example, Game Painter Studio, to offer a basic, but then you can experiment and change whatever you want. Like I'm always, this is nothing, nothing to say here, because it's really important, and everything is under development. Maybe people uh, think that primitive software is perfect, there is no bugs, there is no, no problems. It's not, it's not true. You can, you can have problems in, in all the programs. They are under development and they are not free. So what we can expect on the near future? I think we can expect a lot of good things. So I see good evolution in the digital applications. <clears throat> For example, I would like to see the, the, it will be really cool to have the crystal parameters that can control the thickness of the, of the points that construct the, the brush. Um, the hair scale that I know from uh, another program, which produces uh, different sizes. And the clumpiness to make a random size on the, on the crystal parameters. Also in pastel, I I would really I really would like to, to have this in in the programs. Uh, it's like a three D effect on the on the brush top. I don't know if it is very visible, but if you see yes. here, you can see the volume of the of the brush top. So it's really interesting to create artistical or more organic effects. The texture paint. Nowadays we have uh, the texture is inside the brush shape, and this produces that we need a lot of brushes to create different effects. But we can have uh, only one brush with the different patterns, for example, uh, to create different effects with, with the texture. Um, this is this is really really cool feature that. It will be will be good to, to have in the in the future. And I know Krita is working in that field. I was with uh, Timothy experimenting yesterday and I think this is this is really interesting. This is one example of the textures applied to, to an image because it creates a lot of detail in one in, in seconds and you don't have to paint all the tiny details manually. And this is an, another idea. I would like to, to have a tool, a flexible uh, imported SVG to create uh, just with one shape, I, I will create just a CD. Just uh, repeating and, and, and stretching and SVG is pictorial, so I think it could be possible to do it, but this is in the, in the hands of the programmers, so it's only an, an idea. And my conclusions are, yes, we can paint with open source tools, and it's important to help in the development of new tools, because the evolution of the tools doesn't come from, from nothing, isn't it? It comes from a lot of efforts of different people. So if we are more people, the evolution is faster and is, this is good for us. And if you help your neighbors, you are helping yourself because all the products that we achieve in digital painting, short, uh, open source tools, is good for, for everybody. So, my talk is finished, so if you have uh, questions, please speak slowly. <laughs> yeah? Will you please show the slide where you talked about the fashionistas again? I, just, I really like that. Wait, which, which is like? <laughs> the one where you had four stripes from uh, green to red. Um, it's, it's near the front. This? No, no, no. no. Uh, it was on the very beginning. Ah, very beginning. Okay. This? No. No. Oh. 
Se mi rifà di fare. Da qua. Ok. Thank you. I think this, this is important because there are a lot of users that really don't know which applications are available. Yeah, thank you. Some questions? Actually, I, I think I would like to uh, shift the focus of this one a little bit. I think it's not the problem of using what most people use. It's more about using just one tool. Mm -hmm. So um, you you become a slave if you restrict yourself on a single tool. Yeah. And um, it would make sense to have more tools in your tool chest. And uh, yeah, this will solve your spectrum. Yeah, but I am not referring only only uh, one tool or a yeah, specific. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I think your talk makes the point of that different tools are very helpful for different uh -huh. purposes. Okay, I will check it. Um, could you elaborate on your idea of, well, you short you mentioned using SVG yeah. as brush strokes or something? Could you elaborate on that? Yeah. Yeah. Usually the brushes are attached to a, a, a fixed side. So what I what I think is that SVG shapes are vectorial. So maybe the, they will be they could be adjusted like uh, you click and then drag and the and the shape is created just uh, adapting the form of the of the square um, that contains the, the shape, so stretching, and then when you release, uh, you release the, the mouse, the, the mouse button, you you have the shape, and you can do another shape, just and this produces a fast shape creation. Okay. Maybe you get the point, or I'll explain... So, so for example, if you, if, if you take a, a square or something, and you want to be able to drag that, and then... Yeah, you imagine for example, do you have a, a square SVG, just only a square. Um, you can create with only one square SVG a lot of different shapes with different sizes in, in, a, in a small time. By yeah, because just dragging and create the shapes and this is fast. If the SVG is more complex, the the possibilities in increases a lot. Any question? Yeah. Building on that, do you want to use that only to build a set of static brushes? Or do you want that to be like pressure sensitive? So as you press that it scales and your so your brush shape is changing as you press more. Well, this is, could be different different features. So any anything is, is possible. I don't know how to program. Uh, this is the only idea, just to create a fast saves in in, in seconds, uh, complex saves. Because then we can airbrush certain areas and create the illusion of three D cityscape or technology. And this is 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 already used in in the production world. When you have to make a concept design, of, for example, of, of building of technological stuff, you you don't have uh, all the way to make all the details. So, if you don't want to use photos, you you, you can use this this technique. Okay. 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 Anything else? Yeah. You are only digital printed. Uh, or no. Analog. Analog too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very analog. I came from the from the finance, and nowadays I I paint uh, maybe equal in the in the both sides, digitally and 
and the fine arts, with think, oil painting and making portraits. I think uh, experience in real painting is really, really helpful in digital painting. We found yeah, uh, it, it is uh, only like walking in the dark. Uh -huh. Thanks, thanks so. Anything else? Do you go much between uh, analog and digital? Like, do you paint something physically and then work on it digitally or vice versa? Uh, sorry, but I understand. Uh, so, like, you, you paint with uh, paint brushes. Do you ever scan that and then work on it in the computer? No, my, my, my idea is to make easy the, the process. So I, when I paint digitally, I, all, I make all digitally. I, this is the main reason why I create the game painting studio, uh, creating all the sketched presets, and they produce a nice feeling. And when, when I made the, uh, my paint process, it's, it's the same. So I try to reproduce the same in in every program that I do. So to make all the job in the in the same program. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever use a touch screen with a pencil? So uh, as far as I know, there are new devices out now where you can directly paint the screen. Therefore, you would need a big screen and the pencil would work with it. Can you ever uh, try to do that? If you uh, have experiences with it. No, I, I don't have experience with uh, uh, work on Cintiq, for, for example. I used use once um, in, a, in an ex exposition, and it was cool, but I, I'm, most, I'm more uh, used to paint with my intro sport. Uh, maybe it's a lot, lot of years using, using it. Um, I would like to to see all these applications in the tablet devices, uh, Asus Transformer or whatever, because there are features like uh, double, double pinch, pinch and drag, um, to rotate, for example, layers with, with two fingers. Uh, this could be, I don't know if Intuos 5, I, be, I believe, yes, it supports the, yes, the, the touch. Yeah. Okay, then I have to make a budget for <laughs> Yeah? Anything else? Yeah? Yeah, you mentioned backups. Are you using some sort of revision control software or something similar? Of what? Revision control software like a JIT SVN or... Yeah, I'm not uh, very familiar with, with Git, but... Um, by IRC, people is is helping me to make more easy to get to download the the um, development releases, and this is one one point because if the if the process is hard, is if, if it's hard to to get the development release, uh, a lot of users are not going to, to collaborate. Uh, not not for source code, but for pictures, for paintings. For paintings. If I am using the the latest development. No, no. Um, if you're using some kind of revision control software for the paintings itself. No. Okay. I just uh, back up all all the steps. Mm -hmm. um, I can show you some examples. Uh, is is there time or? Wait. Do we have time? Not much. Not much. Okay, I can show you in, in person if you want. Okay. So, thanks.